On this episode, I share my definition of what a landing page is and break down all the details. You're listening to Landing Page School, presented by Growth Marketer. This is where you'll find bite-sized insights on landing page design, A-B testing, and conversion optimization, helping you turn more of your website visitors into leads and customers. And now, here's your host, Nicholas Scalise. Hello and welcome to another episode of Landing Page School. I'm your host, Nicholas Scalise, and on this episode, we're going to be talking about what a landing page is. So on this episode, I will be defining a landing page, and I'll give you my definition, and we'll break that definition down into all its component parts, and I will also share some other definitions that are pretty popular from notable blogs like Unbounce and Instapage and other sites that have already defined what a landing page is, and then you can come to your own conclusion as to what a landing page is and how it can be useful for you to capture more leads and sales. Now, before we get started, I want to let you know about one of my favorite marketing tools, which is Unbounce. You may have heard me talk about this tool on previous episodes or other podcasts or other blog posts, and Unbounce is an amazing tool for the following reasons. It lets you build landing pages without needing to get into the code, so you don't have to be a developer, and they have amazing templates to start with, so you don't have to create everything from scratch. They also have a lot of really unique features. One feature is called Smart Traffic, and this is totally revolutionizing how landing pages are tested, so it's not just a simple A-B test anymore. So if you want to give Unbound to try, you can actually use my special partner link and you'll get a 14 day free trial. And in addition to that, if you decide to stick with Unbound, which it's totally up to you after the 14 days, you will also get 20% off your first three months or your first year if you pay annually. And you can do this by going to landingpageschool.com slash Unbound. It's a simple 14 day trial. As long as you cancel before the 14 days are up, you pay nothing. And if you decide to stick with Unbounce, you'll get that 20% savings. So check out landingpageschool.com slash Unbounce or simply hit the link in the show notes. Okay, so let's get into this episode. What is a landing page? Let me start with a story. Imagine you're in an airport and you have no specific reason for being there. So you're not there to catch a flight and you're not picking someone up from the airport. You're just randomly in a busy airport all of a sudden. And there are signs everywhere that call out for your attention. You can do some shopping, you can grab a bite to eat, you can watch the planes land, you can explore the lounges, you can get a last minute plane ticket or a dozen other things. There's lots and lots of options. So hopefully you get the idea. Now, on the other hand, imagine you're in the airport again, but this time you're there to catch a flight. You've made it through security and you're walking down the jet bridge to get onto your plane. In other words, you are there at the airport with one specific task you want to accomplish to get on your flight so you can get to wherever you need to go next. So I share this story because this is a good analogy for thinking of what a landing page is versus just a regular website homepage because a landing page is very specific. So it's that second scenario where you have a specific thing you're trying to do, catch your flight versus a traditional homepage or a traditional website. That's the first scenario I described where there's a whole bunch of different things calling for your attention and you're really not exactly sure what you need to do or maybe you wanna do several different things and so that's why it's, it's less specific. So that is an analogy of the differences between a landing page and a homepage and I will go into much more detail in a future episode on that specific question. But for this, I think that sets some of the groundwork that we need to cover as we now get into the definitions of what a landing page is. So let's start with a definition from none other than Unbounce, which I've already mentioned. So Unbounce says that a landing page is a dedicated campaign specific web page that drives visitors to complete a single marketing goal or call to action. It's not bad. Now let's see what their competitor Instapage has to say. They write a landing page is a standalone web page disconnected from a website's navigation created for the sole purpose of convincing a visitor to act or to sign up, buy, download, etc. And finally, let's look at another leading contender in the landing page builder space, and that would be lead pages. And they say a landing page is a web page that is specifically designed to prompt visitors to take a single next action. So those are all very good definitions. I would say I like bits and pieces of them, but I'd say overall they do a decent job. 
But I have my own definition that I want to share. And then for the remainder of this episode, we're going to break that definition apart and really go step by step into what it all means. So for the purposes of this podcast and the purposes of everything we're going to do with landing page school, let's say that a landing page is an independent campaign specific destination that persuades a member of a target audience to take one clearly defined action. There's a lot packed into that definition. So let me read it back and then we will unpack each part real quick. So a landing page is an independent campaign specific destination that persuades a member of a target audience to take one clearly defined action. First of all, landing pages are independent. What this means is that they're independent from your website. Sure, you can build a landing page on your website if you want to, but you can also build one that stands alone and is completely separate from your website. The key is that landing pages do not rely on your website to succeed. They can stand on their own. In fact, many successful brands don't even have traditional websites anymore. I know of several brands that only work with a collection of landing pages and they're doing just fine. Now, of course, you do not need to be that dramatic. There's always a time and a place for a website, but of course you just don't absolutely need a website if you also wanna have a landing page strategy. So just don't think of your website as a prerequisite to building a landing page. The next part of the definition is that landing pages are campaign specific. This means that they are tied to specific marketing goals that you have. And when I say campaign, I'm referring to the things like Google ads campaigns or Facebook ads campaigns, or maybe an email marketing campaign. While it's most common for landing pages to be used with paid advertising campaigns like Google or Facebook, those are certainly not the only type of campaigns that you can use. And next up, landing pages are built for a target audience. This means that your landing page needs to focus in on one type of person who is in your ideal target audience. If you don't know who that person is, well, you need to do the research to figure it out before you begin building a landing page. And I can't stress this point enough. You need to know who you're trying to appeal to and what problems they're trying to solve. Lastly, landing pages should contain one clearly defined action that the visitor can take. This is critical. And probably one of the most common mistakes I see with landing pages is that they try to do too much. They offer too many options to the visitor and thereby confuse and distract them. You know, there's an interesting book and a TED talk by Barry Schwartz called The Paradox of Choice, where he says, with so many options to choose from, people find it difficult to choose at all. So one of the cornerstone principles of good landing page design is to limit choices and focus on one clearly defined action that you want to guide the visitor towards. That is your call to action. And sure, while there are times you might break this rule, it's something you should keep in mind. So that sums up our definition of landing pages. Once again, a landing page is an independent, campaign-specific destination that persuades a member of a target audience to take one clearly defined action. I'll put this definition in the show notes so that you have it to reference and you can copy it and paste it and you'll have it saved. So just check out the show notes for that. Also, as we wrap up, I wanna remind you once again to check out Unbounce, one of my favorite marketing tools and the easiest way to start building and optimizing and testing landing pages of your own. You can sign up for a free 14 day trial by going to landingpageschool.com slash unbounce. That's gonna do it for this episode. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future episodes of Landing Page School. And until next time, have a fantastic rest of your day. Landing Page School is presented by Growth Marketer and produced by Earnworthy LLC.